not all roses and sunshine, but it's not all negative, dark and dreary either. What we want to do is find that balance point where we have a more realistic view of the world around us, the people around us, and the interactions that we have with them. There's a lot more to CBT than meets the eye. When we work with people using CBT, there's some deeper things that we do. There's some things that kind of act as blocks for us to progress through our CBT. Be sure to watch the whole video because there's a great little book recommendation that will be coming at the end. If you want to learn a little bit about CBT, just a quick overview, we do have a video on that, so we'll put the link to it above. cognitive distortions and that sounds so terrible. I hate to even use that term. You might have heard it called ants, automatic negative thoughts, stinking thinking. Some people call them sticky thoughts. Those things that get in our way and confuse us and maybe aren't really happening. And they keep us from getting that more balanced view that we try to achieve using our CBT. A lot of us struggle with black and white thinking, all or nothing, either this way or that way. And what a therapist might do is he might poke you or nudge you or to try and get us to see something that would disprove our all or nothing thinking. I'm always the one, I do everything for my family. That's a common thing that we often hear. And then we find out, well, no, the other partner looks after the children. Well, you go do your yoga or the other partner does the grocery shopping. And so, although it may seem to us that we're carrying the full load, when we tease apart the thoughts, we can realize that maybe it's not quite so bad as the person is thinking and we get a more balanced picture of what's really going on in the family. That's not to discount the person feeling like they're carrying the whole load for everyone, but if we have a clearer idea of what's really going on, it can help reduce our stress and make us feel a little better. Another thing that people often do is catastrophize. We might say, oh, that this happens, so it's always going to happen. I'm never going to get over it. And we blow things way out of proportion. And so that's when we take time to do our breathing, reconnect to our brain. Remember when we're doing our deep breathing, it's not just the one breath. There's also a little video we have on box breathing. You might want to check that one out as well. It will help us to reconnect to our brain because when we get into that catastrophizing mode, nothing seems like it's going to work out. And when we start to think that way, our stress levels rise way high and we don't have connection to our brain and we're not able to think clearly. So that's why the breathing is so, so important. And we can see once we've done the breathing, we can calm down and we can be more open to other things that are going on. Another thing that often happens to people, and I can admit that I've done this myself, is personalizing. We find out something and we think that it's all our fault. Or we think, oh no, they didn't invite me, they don't like me, they don't care about me. And we get going down that negative road till I'm worthless, no one loves me, all of those things. When we personalize the problem, that can drive us down that negative road. But remember, we're all hardwired to go to the negative first. It's really hard for us to get that balance and that's where the work comes in, is to find the positive things, the bright lights perhaps, that are going to give us a more balanced view. For example, you heard about a party and you didn't get an invitation. All of a sudden you think, oh, nobody cares, they didn't invite me, they don't want me, they don't like me, all of those negative things. So what we ask people to do is stop and think. What else could be going on? Maybe they thought you were too busy to go. Maybe they thought you weren't really interested. Maybe you really weren't, but you just wanted to be invited. There could be lots of other things going on. Maybe this event wasn't for you. 
maybe it was for a special group of people that you're not a part of and and that's okay we can't be a part of everything maybe it was covid restrictions lots of other reasons why we don't get invited we can use a thought record to do that greenberger and Podesky's book mind over mood has an excellent handout in it that helps to be able to tease apart these thoughts and these feelings and help us to get to that more balanced view another really common one is mind reading well they think that i'm like this and i feel like they think well if we don't ask them we don't know so mind reading is never a good idea we might think that a person didn't answer our text because they don't like us or because they're mad at us or because of something we said but it could be something totally different maybe their phone died maybe they had a family emergency there could be lots of reasons why they didn't answer our text but in our mind we are going down again that negative road we want to stop going down the negative road and get into the point where we're more balanced view if we're not in a position where we can ask and for clarification then it's better to be picking it apart and thinking about other things there's a tendency too for us to label things you might say oh i'm so stupid or i'm an idiot those things are not true and if we keep loading those in our mind then we'll start to believe them well we want to be careful as not to let a label identify us we don't we're not stupid maybe the choice that we made wasn't the wisest one but we're not stupid so being really careful that we don't assign a characteristic to us based on some behavior that we have experienced even if we do it fairly regularly maybe we've been we've been in the habit of doing the same thing over again we don't want to label ourselves that that's not who we are that's just a part of something that we did or it could be a part of our personality i'll have people come in and say i'm shy well maybe that's a characteristic that you have but that's not who you are you maybe are a more reserved type person you may be quiet but it's not who you are it's just part of you i was a librarian a teacher librarian but that was not all i was it was just part of me but that's part of me lies very strongly in my heart i do want to share with you a little children's story one of my favorite little books and it is a new york times bestseller duck rabbit all about cognitive distortions and how communication can break those down and so that we can see other people's points of view i think you might enjoy it sharing it with your children but it's also great for adults as well thanks a lot for listening be sure to hit subscribe and notifications to find out when our next video will be out and if you'd like to leave us a comment we'll send you some more resources and we might even make a video about your topic thanks a lot and take care out there